Hey everyone, my name is Tabby, and welcome back to my channel, Keeping Tabs, where today I'm doing my first vlog. I'm going to do my first weekly vlog. I don't know if it's going to be every week, but it's a vlog in a week. You know what I mean? Anyways, it's my first time. Just excuse everything. I'm hoping that it's not incredibly boring, and I apologize in advance. If it is, I'm going to try and keep it you know, fun for everyone. I'm going to a book signing on Saturday, so that should be interesting, right? Right? It's, it's, yeah, I'm hoping that it is. Anyways, let's talk about the books that I hope to read by the end of the week on Sunday. It is Monday right now, August 13th, and I actually have a package coming in the mail later today, so I'm gonna do an unboxing, so already this vlog is just awesome. Anyways, the first book, book that I want to read is Frostblood, and I started reading this yesterday, which was Sunday, and I'm on page 128, and I'm enjoying it. It's good. It's not like a page turner, and I'm not like, oh my gosh, this book, but it's not boring either. I'm not not interested in it. So I'm reading this, and I hope to finish it by Wednesday, which is, which means I have three days, including today, to read this book and finish it. And so if I finish this one, I hope to then go on to finish this one by Sunday, which is four days of reading, if I'm not including Wednesday, although I'll probably read some on Wednesday. I don't know, but for now I have four days calculated out. I don't know. Either way, I'm excited, hoping I can get these books done by the end of the week. That would be so awesome. And then I'd be ready for the book signing on Saturday. So I'm going to go read. I might actually film some videos. I don't even know. But yeah, I guess I will see you guys again when my package comes in the mail so I can show you guys what I got. It's not really exciting. It's just, it's just books, but that's exciting. Hey guys, so I thought I would give you a quick reading update. I am 160 pages into Frostblood, which means I've read around 30 pages today so far. Um, yep, I haven't been watching a lot. I got distracted by painting my nails. I also was working on my crocheting because I recently taken up that hobby randomly. Anyways, um, so we got to the point where the main, like the main love interest, is really starting to become the main love interest. And I tell you, like three pages ago, they hated each other, and the whole book they hated each other. But now it's like out of nowhere, they're starting to grow feelings for each other, and we're just like. <laughs> really also the main guy first of all his name is Arcus Arcus let's just say that out loud for a second because I this is my first time saying it out loud and it is a thousand times worse when I say it out loud Arcus does that not sound like some kind of mold to you just say it Arcus what anyways this guy he's your typical brooding mean guy and He's like got all kinds of issues, but apparently he has a sob story. And so everybody like just accepts the fact that he's just a tool because he has this sob story. And we don't know what the story is yet, but because he has that sob story, it's okay that he's mean. And that's just like, why do we have to do that? Why? We do that so, so often in books like Will Harrendell and just so many other characters. And it'd just be nice if a guy had a horrible backstory and was still nice, was still a decent human. But nope, here we have Arcus. I mean, if I had that name, I'd probably wouldn't be nice either because Arcus, Arcus, really? Anyways, on to bigger, better things. My package came in. It's from Indigo. There's three books in it. I'm so excited. And we're going to open it. And thank you, Lord. Box was easy to open because can you imagine me struggling for half an hour on camera? Anyways, here's the box. Oh, and there goes all of the books. First book I have here is Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes because I told you I am going to the book signing, so I bought the second and the third book. Gathering Gathering Darkness? Gathering Darkness. Second and third. I'm so excited. I'm obviously not gonna be able to read these by the time Saturday rolls around, but at least I'll get them signed. I'm so excited about this series. It's really fun and action-packed. It's not like the most well-written book and it doesn't have the best prose, but it's got a lot of action and intensity and violence, but you know, I love violence, so this is right up my alley. On to up the last book that I have, Air of Fire 
by Sarah J Mass. Like I said, I'm reading Crown of Midnight this week, so hopefully I will finish that by Sunday. And it's looking good. It's really thick. How, how big is this? 562. Do you guys ever read the last line of the book? I know that's probably horrible, but I do it all the time. Oh! Yep, I should stop that. So I'm almost done reading my section of Frostblood for the day, but I'm reading this and it mentions gray water and then a few pages later, frost giants. And I'm just like, Westeros, is that you? Hey guys, so it's Tuesday, August 14th. I'm still reading Frostblood. I know that I touched on the fact that this book is insta-love, but my gosh, is it ever snowballing? Because I swear in the last chapter, this guy, Arcus, remember Arcus? The guy with the moldy name, Arcus. Arcus. Ooh, sounds like a sneeze, done it. Anyways, Arcus, he was hating Ruby, the main girl. And he said, if it was up to me, I would have left you in the prison to die. But now he's kissing her forehead and saying, Oh, if I was allowed to be selfish, I'd steal you away and, and keep you safe on a land and blah, blah. And I'm just like, holy crap, man, what a 180. My, how the tables have turned. This is so weird. They hated each other. Like, I'm getting whiplash just thinking about how fast this whole thing turned. It's, it's very strange. Anyway, this is set in two parts. So I'm now in part two. And I guess it's supposed to be a little bit more action-y because she's in the games now. But, yeah, it's, I mean, you know, um, the plot itself is interesting, it's just the writing style is not doing the plot justice. It's moving very fast in terms of the romance, and it's moving very slow in the beginning. But what I do like is the world and the origin story of how these powers came to be. That's very interesting because it, it involves, like, these gods who were curious and decided to experiment on these humans and then that went wrong and I really like that and I would much rather read that story and not this so yeah also I don't know it look at my hair can we just look at this I took a shower today it's washed it's nice I put things in it it's supposed to be happy with me but it's doing this instead and I'm not even, it's not, it doesn't bother me. Anyways, this book is an arc and I'm going to the signing on Saturday and I don't know if it's proper etiquette to be like, here, sign my arc. Like, is that okay? Because I, I didn't buy it. I don't know. I don't know if that's right or if that's like, oh, you shouldn't do that. But there's a second book out and I'm thinking maybe I'll buy the second book just so that I don't seem like... I don't even know what I would seem like. I don't even know. Like, am I just worrying about something that's not even real? Anyways, my microwave has stopped. I'm gonna go eat my pasta, and then I will talk to you guys either later tonight, if I finish it, or I'll come back tomorrow once I finish it. Oops, there goes my bookmark. Yeah, this. Silent Sisters. Silent Sisters. Westeros. Game of Thrones. We got Greywater. We got Frost Giants, now we got Silent Sisters up in here. I'm still reading Frostblood, just in case, like obviously I'm still reading it. And yep, this is my crochet needle, hook, crochet hook. Can you tell I'm a noob? Hello guys, so I have finished reading my required reading for tonight. And it's definitely at the part of the book where everything is just really intense and it's supposed to grab your attention and move really fast. But... I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. And I don't really want to read it right now. I'll just finish it tomorrow. I have that much left. The smaller part, obviously. So I'm going to read that tomorrow. And now I'm going to reorganize my bookshelves because I'm thinking I want to have a TBR shelf. Like, organize my unread books and separate them from my read books. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, though, because I really like having all of my series together and all of my, my tall hardbacks together and all my paperbacks together so it's gonna be a struggle but I'm interested and I'm bored and I'm gonna do it. So this is the current situation. Yes I have a can of hairspray and an empty glass sitting up there that I should probably put in the kitchen. I'm gonna do that but anyways this is what I'm working with and I want to separate my red books from the unread books and just see how I like that whole situation 
and I guess I will show you guys when I'm done. I I don't know. Okay, so I already started rearranging the books, and I I hate it. I'm not even finished, and I hate it. And I'm probably just gonna stop right here and put it all back the way it was because this is hurting. I don't like this at all. I don't like this one bit. That does not look right. That does not look appetizing. I can't. I can't have it. Okay, so I've come to a conclusion. I basically put all the books back on the original shelf that it was on, but I divided it from books I've read and books I haven't read. So, if for example, all the books on this shelf from Carve the Mark, I have read all of these, I just haven't read these four. And so that's what it's like on all the bookshelves. The left side are books I haven't read yet, and I've read all the way up to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, and I haven't read all of these. So that's what it's like on all of the shelves. And I think this is a, it's a good method. It's a good method, I think, hopefully. At least it looks the same as when I started out, so it's less of an eyesore for me. So for example, on this shelf, I have read all the way up to, okay, from Throne of Glass onward, I have read. <gasps> I lied, I didn't read this yet, that has to go. But I've read all the others, so. Traded to the Throne, this way, haven't read, including this. I like it. Okay, so it's Wednesday, August 15th, and I have around 70 pages left of Frostblood, so I'm definitely gonna finish that tonight, and I'm so excited to be done with that book. But in the meantime, I just felt like going to my local thrift store and just looking around, just taking a browse at the books, just taking a little peek see to see what they have. Cause I haven't been there in a while, and in a while I mean like three days, cause I'm, I've got problems. Anyways, I'm not gonna buy any books. It's not the plan. I'm not supposed to buy any more for the month of August, but you know, you never know what's gonna happen. You never know what's gonna happen. You know, when life gives you lemons, you, you just make that lemonade. So if I see a book, maybe I'll buy it. It's not the plan, but. Okay, so I'm outside my, my building, like this is the door, and I just wanna show you guys how close one of the thrift stores is, so. Just look at this. So I'm still standing on the step outside of my door and just across the street that is the loading deck where people donate the stuff so like that open garage right there see that guy that's where I'm going how close I'm blessed do 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 I'm doing that you know that YouTube song that everybody always plays when they're vlogging and they're outside do Look, I'm walking. I'm walking, guys. Well, I'm back from my spontaneous trip to the thrift store, and I ended up going to both the thrift stores, and I was gonna vlog at the one, but there were workers putting books out on the shelf, so there was people there, and it was gonna be weird, and so I, I just didn't, and I'm still kind of nervous. Not nervous, but like, it's so weird vlogging in public. So I'm going to try and get better with that because I obviously need to vlog my signing. I guess that's going to be the ultimate test. But anyways, let's look at these books. The first one I have is Into the Darkest Corner, which is a, what is this? Psychological, a sexy and suspenseful, suspenseful psychological thriller. And I'm trying to look for something to fill the void that you by Caroline Kepnes left because that book was so good. The next one is The House of Sand and Fog, which was turned into a movie, but I've never heard of the movie, I've never heard of this book, and I don't even know if this is, oh, it's a mixture of classical tragedy, tra I can never say that word, tragedy, perfectly imbued with film noir. And one that I'm really excited to read is Cataract City which is a Canadian book and it takes place in Niagara Falls and because it's Canadian I'm guessing it takes place on the Canadian side of Niagara Falls and there's some buzzwords here on the back um, gritty, violent, that, that's my buzzword right there um, blood and guts yeah I like the sound of that so yeah I, I bought it violence, ooh bromance okay I'm there I'm so excited. This looks pretty good. It's pretty beat up, this one, but I really like when my copies look beat up, so it's okay. 
Hello everybody! It is Saturday and I don't think I've updated you since Wednesday but it is now Saturday and I finished Frostblood finally but I am not on schedule with Crown of the Night but anyways it's Saturday so today is the book signing. I'm so excited! I'm just putting a face on that's why my glasses are off and I can't see anything because I'm really blind but I'm gonna do my eyeshadow and I'm so excited to go to this book signing. You guys have like no idea. Is mascara supposed to smell good? Because that doesn't smell good. It smells kind of like peanuts, actually. Which isn't a bad or good smell, it's just kind of like a, oh, peanuts. Okay, I am ready. I got my face on. Let's go. Vlogging in public is gonna be so awkward. Pray for me. So it's actually Monday, August 20th, and I forgot to do a closing clip for the vlog yesterday, Sunday. So I'm just gonna show you guys the books that I got signed, and yeah, I'm really excited. So of course, I got the Falling Kingdoms book signed. The first three, those are the only ones that I have, but oh my gosh, I am so excited! Morgan Rhodes signed all of the books. I don't think I need to show you like all of the books, they just basically look like this. There's two Tabitha, that's me, <laughs> from Morgan Rhodes, or Best Wishes. I'm so excited. It sucks that I only have the three books, but like, what's a girl to do? And then, of course, I finished Frostblood, and you guys know my thoughts. I didn't love it, but it had so much potential, and I just feel like it could have been so good if the writing was better but either way i got it signed and i really liked listening to ellie blake and the way she talked about her writing process and the struggles and all of that and because i want to be an author and i have like similar struggles when i'm working on my stories listening to her really made me want to give her another shot because she was talking about how her editor when she handed in the first draft told her to um make the beginning a little more fast paced because apparently it was slow and I told you guys the beginning is slow so I guess it was even slower before which is crazy but um yeah listening to her just made me want to give her another shot even though I said I wasn't gonna read the second book but I did I picked up Fireblood I mean I didn't read it but I got it and I picked it up and I just want to give her a second shot so obviously she signed this one too and I'm kind of excited I mean there were some people there that really really liked the series and just the way they were talking about it also kind of makes me excited, you know what I mean? I'm not eager to pick it up, um, but yeah. And then obviously Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart because she was another author that was there and I wasn't planning on getting this because this isn't really a story that intrigues me, but again, listening to these authors really makes me want to give their books a try, so I picked it up and got it signed and I'm not excited to read this one but i've heard some good things about it there's a lot of people who are liking it right now so that's cool and of course they had like some swag like bookmarks and stuff so i snagged two night film night film night blood bookmarks because night blood comes out tuesday that's tomorrow august 21st but she had some early oh this is upside down and it just has like a synopsis of Nightblood. So that's kind of cool. And then a postcard for Fireblood. And uh, another bookmark. And then Tracy had 
these. I don't know, I can't even read what it says on there. If you can, all the points to you. Let me know if you can figure out what the heck this says. Because I can see you are brick and something that you are iron. That's what I hear. This is like the same thing but in a card form. I have no idea. It looks pretty, but I cannot read this. Anyways, that is all. I had so much fun and I definitely want to go to more book signings in my future. As for this vlog, this was my first time vlogging, so I know it's very choppy. I don't have those scenes, you know, like the little scenes that people have in their vlogs where they're flipping through the books and there's music playing in the background and you can see them reading and it's time lapse. Like, I didn't do any of that. I am new, okay? I am new. So I need to work on that for future vlogs. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this really choppy amateur vlog and I cannot wait to redeem myself in later vlogs. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.